Such are promises, all lies and jests. Still, a man hears what he wants to hear and disregards the rest. Those words, written by Paul Simon nearly half a century ago, might be the anthem of our times. Intent, content, and context become irrelevant in a culture where all of us hear whatever we want to hear, feel whatever we want to feel, and believe anything we want to believe. The late New York Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan once said that you're free to have your own opinions, but you're not free to have your own facts. The fact is that in her recent New York Times op-ed, actress Maya Bialik offered an eloquent condemnation of the Hollywood culture that enabled Harvey Weinstein to, allegedly, prey on women for decades. Ms. Bialik bravely channeled her own struggle against the shallow values of the entertainment industry in a ringing defense of women against objectification and exploitation. So how could so many people twist her words into a screed of victim bashing and passive aggressiveness? Simple. Ms. Bialik disclosed that her own value system guides her to dress modestly and avoid flirtatious behavior. Without preaching or judging, she holds herself to a higher standard of personal dignity. But in popular culture, this is beyond the pale. In a world ruled by non-judgmentalism, having any standards at all is a thought crime of the highest order. King Solomon says, those who forsake wisdom praise the wicked, but those who guard its way rise up to contend with them. There will always be those who promote moral anarchy under the banner of peace and tolerance. But we do better to ally ourselves with those who have the courage and wisdom to speak out in defense of personal discipline and the dignity of human spirit. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, or subscribe. Click the link below to order my free ebook, The Three Pillars of Success. I'm Jonathan Goldson. See you next time.